Hello, this video is about using a detailer for automatic inpaint of faces generated by LoRa files or any other. As you might have seen in stable diffusion, that full body shots may not always give good faces, or never, especially when training data has limited number of images or limited number of full body shots. Uh, so we need to inpaint the faces to fix them. Uh, drawing a mask around the face, then seeing the outcome of the inbent results. However, uh, that takes time, especially if you want to generate a large number of images. So assuming uh, we have developed Allura, okay, and uh, we saw that the portraits are good, but the full body shots are not good, for example, especially with a low number of images, if we generate a full the body picture, for instance, like this one, we see that the face is really bad, okay? We can use restore faces, but the restore faces will affect uh, the results. It will uh, become like someone else. It will become uh, better, but like someone else. Okay, so a good solution is to use AD Tailor, which is an extension in Automatic 11.11. We, we come to Available, Load From. We search for Detailer. Okay, after Detailer, this is the extension. We press Install. And wait for the installation now once it complete we can uh, apply a restart now uh, once the graphical user interface is loaded you can see that here we have a detailer okay so the a detailer is like automatic in paint if we load the most recent prompt okay we can regenerate the most recent prompt once again now uh, we check the image this is the same image, it has a deformed face. So what we do is enable a detailer. Now we could check one, uh, some of these options because it has uh, other some for hands, some for faces. We could actually use two as well. Now here we just write the same different prompt, not the same prompt. We can use the same prompt or someone something that's slightly different. But of course, this is the same prompt it will not give us the same thing. So because we don't want a full body, we want a portrait. And we no longer care about full dress, etc. We just want to have a good portrait. Now, how to know which uh, what is a good a good portrait? Actually, we have to test it. So we come here and test a good portrait. I'll show you an example just in a second. Now, here, like I've said, we just put a normal prompt like we do in in Paint and regenerate. Now, what it will do is actually re-render this image, then it will do in-painting, but automatic in-painting using the portrait image. Let's see how what the result will be. Now it will go through two phases. It will generate the image, then it will apply in-painting once again. Now, once uh, it's complete, we come here, we can see that the face has been fixed. Now, uh, this allows us to generate infinite number of images and automatically in-paint them directly. We could also change the in-painting settings. For example, we can increase the denoise and the, uh, the, the denoising level, for instance, to in in induce more change to the picture. We could also test having higher picture quality, for instance. We could also even apply control net, etc. Now, in order to know which uh, prompt to use, we need to actually use a prompt for uh, painting uh, for painting portraits only so you, normally what we will do actually just create a normal prompt and see how it would look like instance for instance 768 768 and see what a portrait would look like so we choose a suitable command for the portraits that includes a simple description but only the portrait of the uh, the, the person so once we are uh, we we think that this portrait is suitable, we can use it in the a detailer. Uh, I must point out as, as well that we could also change the weight of, of the, the LoRa because uh, reducing the weight would uh, would give us more flexibility in the initial image because eventually we, uh, the a detailer will do automatic repaint in paint. Okay, so despite what the results will be here. Using a lower lower weight will give us the same skeleton of the face approximately 0 0.7 0 0.6. It will give us the same skeleton approximately, but uh, later on it will be fixed using the in paint. Okay, uh, this is this is it, and have a good day.